I have to apologize in advance. I'm not the most amazing storyteller. I'm going to try and write everything down as I remember it happening, though. My brother is an avid Redditor, and he told me I should post my story to the sub. So, here we go. I used to date a guy named Norman back in high school. I'm 29 now and have a 9-year-old daughter, so this must have been 12 to 13 years ago, roughly. I guess we were each other's first real love slash relationship, and we even wore promise rings, which was a pretty big deal back then. We talked about getting married and what our life together would be like, basically things people say or do when they've been together for a year as teenagers. As things go, we began to argue and fell into a cycle of breakup and getting back together. I was immature and stupid, I ended up getting together with another guy during one of our breakup periods. It became a messy love triangle situation and Norman and I finished for good after I chose this other guy. Not my proudest moment, but I was 17 and stupid. Fast forward a few years. I made a Facebook account and out of curiosity one day, I looked up Norman. We added each other on Facebook and I messaged him apologizing for what had happened between us. I was happily married by that point and we had just had my daughter. Norman was a good sport about it and we remained amicable friends via social media. I really only ever talked to him to say happy birthday or randomly comment on his status. Another few years go by and Norman gets into a relationship with a woman named Marissa. I was happy to see him moving on. My marriage didn't work out, but I was happy with my life and raising my daughter by myself. During Christmas one year, I found an old Polaroid picture of me and Norman at a cabin weekend we had taken together when we were dating. I messaged him telling him about it and recalled how much fun we had had. He didn't reply. This was before those scene stamps. And later I found out I was no longer on his friends list. A few months later, I got a message from Marissa. She basically said I was a whore and a slut and that she saw the message I had sent him months ago. She told me to never ever contact him again and that I needed to get over him. She went on to say how a charm bracelet he gave me was nothing compared to what he buys her and that I was a cheap fuck he had had in high school. She said the silver promise rings were bullshit and that he had bought her a gorgeous gold engagement ring with several diamonds. Well then, I never responded. I got off Facebook not long afterwards for a short period of time before remaking an entirely new profile and adding only close friends and family. Over the next few years, I would get ads from people I didn't know to all my social media. I knew it was her because the first account I mistakenly added began to send me abusive messages saying I was a loose slut and an attention-hungry whore who would never find true love. Afterwards, I never added anyone else I didn't personally know. I don't know how she kept finding my other accounts. She tried to add me to Instagram, Twitter, she even somehow found out my phone number and tried to add me on WhatsApp. When Snapchat became a thing, I got an ad from a user who had one of my Facebook friend's names as their username and sent me snaps of whore and bitch in cursive handwriting on paper. I kept blocking her and maintaining no contact because honestly, there was nothing else I felt I could do. This year, I joined a dating app. I met a guy within the first week of being on it who I thought was amazing. His name was Nate and he had a fair few pics of himself. He was average looking so it didn't raise any flags with me that this suspiciously model looking guy was trying to talk to me. He said he had an Android phone so he couldn't FaceTime, but we could talk on the phone. It was definitely a man's voice. We texted a lot over the next few weeks and things seemed to be going well enough to lead to a meetup. We schedule a place and time. A week before, he asked me about past relationships. I didn't think too much of it when he asked me about my first real relationship. He seemed keen on details and asked me if I still had feelings for my ex. I reassured him that I didn't. But I also didn't hate him because I was the one who messed up and he was actually a really good guy. We talked a lot about the relationship and then he said he was looking forward to meeting me. We had chosen to meet at an outdoor cafe because I didn't like the idea of meeting at my house without me actually knowing who this guy was. I was so excited. It was my first date in a long time. 
So imagine my confusion when I saw a woman spot me and smile and start walking over. I was too fucking shocked to say anything when she sat down and yes, it was Marissa. She looked so smug and she said, hey babe, and kept smiling. She confessed it was her. At that point, I honestly just wanted to know why. What did I ever do to this chick to get all these reactions from her and for her to actually invest time in doing all of this to me? Basically, this is what she told me. Almost six years ago now, when she and Norman got together, he told her all about me and our first relationship. She went on his friends list and saw me there and went through all my pictures and posts trying to see what he saw in you. Then, when I messaged him, she confronted him over why I had any pictures of me and him still, and why he needed to have me on Facebook. He deleted me and promised her not to talk to me again. She told me she hated me and I was a stupid bitch who loves playing with people's emotions, and that she wanted to give me a taste of it. She said she made up accounts so she could keep an eye on me and make sure I wasn't going to be in the same city as her and Norman. I live right outside their city, by the way. She would walk by places I'd say I'd be at if I was to make sure he wasn't meeting up with her in secret. She knew where I worked through my LinkedIn. She said the guy who I spoke to on the phone as a Nate was her friend who was in on it and wanted to see me go down. She said she had originally planned to make me fall in love with me and then cheat on me, but she couldn't stand to wait so long. The most disturbing part, however, was when it came to my daughter. This woman had actually become extremely fixated on my daughter. She was convinced that she shared some of Norman's features and became obsessed, thinking that I had had a kid with him who I kept secret from him. She told me to not even think about suddenly revealing it to him in some ploy to get back together with him, and that she would be the only one to give him a baby. I was beyond horrified. It's not very exciting, but all I remember doing was getting up from the table and telling her to never contact me again. I got in the car and just sat there in silence for a bit. The first thing I did was call my daughter's school and alert the front desk of a possible situation where someone who was neither I nor her father would try to pick her up. I called my brother afterwards and told him what happened. He urged me to call the police. I did, but ended up getting the whole spiel about if I don't have any documented proof it's her or her saying any of these things, they couldn't help me out. It's been two months. I haven't heard anything from her and my brother thinks that maybe she got what she wanted by asserting herself as Norman's one and only and now she would leave me alone. Still, I have massive paranoia when it comes to what I post on social media and where she might be lurking next. I've told my family and close friends about the situation and warned them not to add any strange profiles or people they don't know. I told my neighbors the situation and showed them a picture of her so they could call the police if they saw anyone like her around the house. I wouldn't put it past her to know my address and start peeping in our windows or worse. I also changed the locks as a precaution. So hopefully, this is the first and last time I post on here. Marissa, let's not meet. I felt compelled to contribute to this thread after being invited to join Scout and chatting with the sketchiest people on there. Here are two of the stories. This week I had a relatively attractive 26-year-old guy who started chatting with me on Scout. He seemed like a nice boy next door type and I didn't feel threatened by the way he was presenting himself. He claimed he didn't drink which I thought was a rarity for guys and he didn't ask me to send him more photos. The fun part came when he let slip his full name. As I continued chatting with him, I googled him up and I found his police records dating as far back as 2006. During the course of discovering this new information on him, he started asking where I lived, how much money I made, and if I had any roommates. I chose to ignore those questions and started grilling him to confirm 100% that it was the same guy. I pretended that I was looking for jobs in Bucks County, to which he responded that that was where he grew up. Ding! Check one. Then, I pretended to be looking at horoscopes and asked him his birthday, to which he said May 1st. Ding! Check two. I asked him if he really was 26 and not born in 1975. 
as listed in his reports, making him 37 years old. He denied it and said he would send me a picture of his ID, which he never did, and I proceeded to send him copies of my findings, reported him to Scout, which I question if they'll do anything about, and blocked him. The crazy thing is that his family owns a contracting company where they do the paintwork for retailers, and if you notice, he's been arrested multiple times for retail theft. The second scout story I have to share is about a possible sociopath and grade A misogynist. I've blocked and deleted him multiple times, and I've started to report him. But he seems to always find a way to create a new account, find me, and then proceed to harass me. Every time this guy is the same. Maybe he's not only demented, but also has amnesia. But it always starts off with him either greeting me with a hi and remember me? and then him sending me a photo of himself. His profile is blank, but he's actually cute, but that says nothing for him since his personality is crap. Follow this by him asking me to go drinking with him or going over to his place, which I always and will forever decline. It always happens that he has been drinking when he finds me on there. Then the name calling will start and the really underhanded verbal comments too which is swiftly followed by my reporting and blocking him. I don't understand why he even bothers. Does he not understand by now that I'm not some poor, weak, desperate girl he can bully? I'm more the type to take a bat to his crazy ass if he really crosses the line. Okay, I'm not really that scary, but just to give you an idea, I'm pretty savvy and can defend myself. Background story on this guy? He's 29. He had a girlfriend who he unabashedly told me threw him out of the house. Supposedly, she's still sleeping with him, and that kind of makes me feel bad for her, but I can't help her stupidity being with such an awful jerk. <laughs>